Hey everybody, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone tutorial. What I got for you is probably one of my more impressive farms that I've built and designed. Now, what can uh, top uh, some of the simpler farms I've done? Well, how about a 16 stack iron farm that I'm dubbing the Iron Curtain? Now, this has some advantages over some other farms, and I will explain those when we get into the build. But this is a 16 village iron farm. And it is shift protected. Now what do I mean by shift protected? I mean the beds. If the center of the village is not where you want it to be, that's fine, because they will always spawn in on the platforms that they're supposed to. And as you can see, how many golems we're getting we are just raining golems. Now, a single village of this farm can produce approximately 390 ingots per hour. And with it being shift protected, that just keeps these at uh, 390 each one. And yes, I did the math on it. And I did use uh, Rufus Atticus's uh, fig, finding iron golem, following iron golems for verification purposes, and it works. So if you need to get that, I do recommend getting it. Now over there, I've got a single village. This, once we get, uh, once I explain how the golem, how golem spawning happens, we'll pop over there and take a look at it, and, we'll ex and I'll explain how that is. And over there, I've got everything set up for the, uh, for the golem spawning. So, what do you say guys? Let's get to building this thing. Okay guys, we're back, and everything is set up for you guys, so... Now, over here we're going to discuss how Iron Golems spawn in, and the rules and everything, including cat spawning, because it is tied together. Loosely tied together, but it is tied together. Now, to get Iron Golems, you need to, uh, first off, you need to meet certain conditions. One, you need to have a village. Now, the basic village is any villager and a bed. That makes a village. But that's not enough to get a single golem. To get a single golem, the minimum requirements is you need to have 20 beds, at least 10 villagers, and 75% of those villagers have to have worked now so that is if you have 10 villagers seven of if seven of them don't work you're not going to get a golem if eight of them worked you will get a golem so that's the reason why you hear people say no nitwits or babies now nitwits like i said you don't want them in an iron farm because they don't work but if you are limited on workstations, you could use a nitwit. They count towards the village. It's just you sparingly use them. Now, 10% of your farm, max. Because that leaves you, with 10 villagers, that leaves you 9 of them that can work and 1 that won't. Which is perfect. Which will work out. So we've got... So avoid trying to use nitwits. They'll take a bed, they won't work. So they count towards that 75% have to work. Now when it comes to cats, it's just a village and four beds. For every four beds you get a cat. And you can have up to 10 cats, so up to 40 villages, uh, 40 beds in a village to get it. Now when it comes to how many golems you can produce, you require for every 10 villagers, you're able to have one addition, you're able to have one golem in the farm. So if you want two, have 20 villagers, 20 beds. They all have to link to the beds. They all, and 75% and have to work. So 20, 20, 20. Two golems. And that's what I do recommend. And that's my, just my personal recommendation. Now, on to the spawning. Now, the center of your village, which for me is right here. It is the first bed 
that is linked to by a villager. That would be the center of your vill that is classified the center. Now, golems take up a to a two by four by two. That is two blocks wide, two blo uh, four blocks tall, and two blocks long. So a four block area that's four high is where a golem can spawn. Now this glass area is a 17 by 17 by 13 area that a golem, uh, this is everywhere a golem and a cat can spawn in at. Now, the, diff the reason why this orange line is here is if a, because uh, depending on where it's at, the northwest corner, this corner right here, is classified as the center of the village. So it will always spawn in in that corner. Now, when a golem spawns in, it spawns in in the northwest corner. So you means we also have to have these spaces here for them to be able to spawn. They have to have a solid block where they can spawn in at. And that's pretty much all it is. So... I'm going to have this in a link. This world is going to be linked into my, uh, my discord. So if you want to take a look at this and it'll be ready for you guys. So now if we, eh, I don't feel like flying over here, but if you guys give me a moment, we'll pop over to the single village and I'm going to explain the design aspects and the advantages of my design versus some of the others. So give me a moment, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And to build the farm, now this one doesn't have any villagers in it because I just wanted to build it so close, I wanted to build it close to there. Everything we're gonna need is inside, <coughs> inside of the shulker box. Now, so what we're gonna need is for our villagers, I recommend smooth sandstone or path blocks because that allows their path finding a lot better. Now I'm using magma blocks around there and that's just to cut down on their path finding outside of the area. It doesn't stop it unless you do about four, yeah, about four layers because they lose so many points that way. You're going to need 20 blocks of whatever you want to be able to hold to have the beds and these are just marker blocks so to speak wool iron whatever definitely water lava and villagers 20 of them and 20 beds um you're going to need a stack plus 14 of what i'm calling the ring blocks these blocks just sit around the edge of the farm and these are just marker blocks showing you the the line of where the villages are if you're doing a single you don't need those you could actually just add in whatever block, solid block you want. You're gonna need four stacks plus 29 for the entire, uh, for the floor of the spawning platform. You're gonna need four uh, stack plus 22 fences. I recommend the warped or crimson because they don't catch on fire. For the villagers, you're gonna need two stacks plus 40 Blocks to barricade them in. I recommend glass so that you can see what's going on. 19 light source blocks. Or 18 if you're going to use a marker block. Marker block is strictly for your benefit. You do not have to have it. Then you're going to need 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus 6 stacks of signs. Or you're going to need 38 uh, fence gates. I recommend crimson or warped. If you're going to do a, uh, a single village and then expand out in all directions using that one, you're going to need six crimson. You're going to need six fence gates, either warped or crimson, and 20 workstations. So. What we're going to do first off, and I am going to be using a marker, the marker block for this. This is where our center going, is going to be. Now you're going to need 10 additional block, uh, 20 additional blocks for this. 
But first thing is we're going to mark our center. Then we're going to go out four, uh, out two on one side and surround those. And then pick on what side do you want, where do you want your bed to be? So if I want my beds to be like this, I need to add another row of blocks here. If I want my beds on the other side, or the heads are, or the head is this one, then I need to put them here. It doesn't matter where you put it. It's just as long as this block is classified as your center. And then we're just going to double this up temporarily and put our marker block in. Then we'll play. Uh, then this this is just for the single. Place one bed down. And then we'll grab our village floor blocks and go out one, two, three, and four. Fill this in. And then go out two in this and on two on these sides. So it's four, two, four, two. Fill these in so that uh, we have a nice. platform for our villagers. Now grab your barrier blocks, blocks that are going to just be holding your villages, and just completely surround it. You could probably knock out eight of them and not worry about it. Now the one thing I forgot to mention is however you want to collect these is up to you. If you want to collect them running hoppers along the tops, that's fine. Go right ahead. That is strictly up to you. Now, we're going to grab our workstations. And if you want to, you can expand this out one more underneath glass. Replace it with something that they, uh, that they won't pathfind on, whatever. This is more of a preference. I prefer using magma blocks. And we're going to knock out some glass here. So there, there, and there. We're going to do it on both sides because what we do to one side, we're going to do it to the other. Then we're going to place our workstations in there. Then over here, we're going to skip a block, skip a block, and skip a block. Workstations. Then we're going to skip two blocks and then skip a block. Workstations in all of them. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. One, two, three. And then skip two, one, two, and there we go. Now, with that single bed in, it makes it so much easier. So I'm going to grab my marker block. We're going to go three blocks above the bed. That is, villagers can stand, uh, villagers can actually do it, uh, stand here and not take damage. Easiest way is walk in here. See if you crouch. If you don't, you're good. Now from the center, we are going to go out along the axis of the bed. The short side right here is going to be the funnel. I'm going to grab my jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to go out 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually going out 9 blocks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. So we got nine jack o' lanterns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. You don't have to use jack o' lanterns. I recommend some type of light block here, though, that golems can spawn in on. Then we're going to go out four blocks and encase this. Fill this all the way in. And go out four blocks here. And same thing. Now you know you did it right when you end up looking down here and you're seeing the workstation. 
because from there, that, uh, that is where our collection system will be going. You can have your ice stream here. You can have a, have popper minecart setting here, uh, setting right here. Minecart uh, rails on top of this block, solid blocks here. That is up to you, however you want to do it. Now we're going to grab our ring blocks and we're just going to, on these long sides, on these short ends here, mark them out. Then we're going to leave a gap and go out one, two, three, four, and five. So, and then we will close this edge. We're going to do it to both sides. So once you fill this in, and it will set up. So we're just going to get our platform in, and we're going to do the exact same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now, the reason why we are doing two ice streams versus one is there is two method uh, there is two ways of moving uh two directions to move a golem towards the center which usually has a small hole right here where the golems will fall down and die or towards the outside where we have a stream of whatever where they will hit lava and die this uh, that uh, the street uh, the line of lava requires more resources, but is a little more efficient if done in a certain way. Now this is probably the most efficient way of setting it up because what we're going to do now is come out off of here. This part we will not be building on, and we're going to encase this in our fences. After we encase all of it, we're going to knock out some blocks, and this is just for when we uh, when you decide to stack the village, when you decide to stack them. Again, you do not have to stack them. This runs independently as a single cell iron farm. You could run a single village, get 390 ingots per hour off of this farm. So I am not endorsing, I'm not saying stack them, and I'm, but I am saying do not stack them. I'm saying if you want to stack them, you can. So now, after we get this set up, what we're going to do is, in line with our hole, we're going to put a fence gate to the left and above it, and to the right and above it. So we have this line right here. Now. If you're going to stack them and you're going to stack them out that way and this is going to and, and then also that way that you're going to stack them like I did over there I built that all the way first before I stacked the villages because I knew I was going to do it but this is um, I just I might not want to stack more than just two and then later on you're like oh no 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 I want to put eight more in here type scenario this way you're able to do it if you're using signs. If you're not using signs, you're using fence gates. You can leave these here as fences. And then when you're done, boom, boom. But if you're using signs, and this is going to be like a center point, which I recommend build when you're stacking, you build from the center areas out. Place these fence gates in. Now that we got that set up, I'm going to do something uh, special with this sign right here. I'm going to place it down. I'm going to advance pick block. Now this sign has the label on it. Where we placed our fence gates, we're going to be placing our signs on. Again, 
Your collection system is strictly up to you. I personally, for farms like this, I do recommend using water stream. And I know how some of you, I know what some of you guys are going to ask, but I will answer those type of questions once we get to the stacking part and to the stacking section of the next video. So please do not ask about stacking in this video. So we're going to set this up, set all our signs up, set our fence gates up, whatever, one block up. Because now this trough right here is designed strictly to catch golem and be able to kill golem. Now that we got that set up, I recommend going from in survival. I recommend going from one side, filling up right here, these line blocks here, putting those in, then coming over here and putting in your lava. That fire, don't worry about it because we're not worried about it because it won't hurt us. It won't burn the signs. That's why signs are better than fences, fence gates, but fence gates are nice because you're able to control them. Open and close. And then we're going to do the same thing over on this side. Lava all, uh, you don't have to use lava sources all of here, along here. You just have to make sure that there is no more than a one block gap between where there is lava and there isn't lava. So, like right here, you can have this spot right here open and have lava. Let's see here. One, two, three, and four. Uh, let me, uh, So let's uh, clear that out and let it fill up. So what we got here is a two block gap. That's that will not work. But if we place it right here, we get a one block gap and golems will die to that. And that's fine. The whole point is we're not leaving any spaces where a golem can pass through and not get hurt. We want them to always, we want them to take damage all the time. So now, after you get your lava in, just run your water down this center line, and that will fill it in. Now, no matter where the golems spawn, they will always travel at least, at most, five blocks. And that's the advantage to my design. At most, five blocks. Most of them that I've seen, they travel at most eight blocks. Horizontally. So... That's the advantage of this. So now after we get that in, and we got our workstations, and we got a single bed in, we're going to grab our villagers, place them in, let that first one, this first one is important, let him link to his bed. And then we could just place beds around, it doesn't matter. If it's a single cell, you don't even, uh, if you're doing what I call single cell, which is what this is, you don't even have to worry about where they link to. You could just build it and just let them link wherever they want. So then we're just going to get more villagers in. These babies, like I said, get rid of them. Don't bring them in. Nitwits, easier not to deal with them. But I'm going to leave one in here just to show you. I'm going to set this to night just for one purpose and one purpose only. I'm not counting. <laughs> I'm going to have only one nitwit in here. Uh, but no babies. Where do you go? Okay, so... All right, uh, his bed is over here. Now, 
I've got one nitwit in here. Who's being a nitwit? Oh, had one. <laughs> okay, so now. He's linked to the village. He, they are linked in the village. So now we're going to wait for our golem to spawn. Now I got nothing over there for them. <laughs> we got a cat. If the cats die in the lava, they die in the lava. That's fine. Where's our little... Where's our buddy? Huh. Huh. There he is. He's sleeping. <laughs> and we're at... We're in the... Okay. And as you can see, one nitwit didn't hurt the farm. And that's the whole point. It's not that saying nitwits won't... Uh, that will kill your rates. One or two will not hurt your farm. One or two babies will not hurt your farm. But what will hurt your farm is them not wanting to work. So you keep it bare minimum, it will work every single time. You increase, you increase it. And as you see, we are getting golems pretty well. In fact, we just got a double golem. Two golems in at once. And again, however you collect them is up to you. Just as long as uh, you collect them and they go and you uh, collect your iron and let it go wherever you need it to go. In the next part, we are going to be working on the stacking of this farm. I will have a uh, a four by a two by two farm set up ready to be stacked for you guys so that you guys don't have to worry about it and uh, so you guys can see how i'm going to do the stacking and we're going to go through the stacking rules so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you liked it leave a like if you have any questions or comments leave it down in the comment section which is a major issue i recommend joining my discord link to that will be in the description if you want to support me you can subscribe and a special thanks to the judgment for supporting me on patreon i do appreciate it so much but you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building. <laughs>